the freak blizzard blanketing the Southland spared Beverly Hills. Though the temperature did plunge to a blustering 75, making the holiday spirit infectious. Traditionally, I am presented with a giganto dilemma. What to buy for the daddy who has everything? Well, problem solved. Amazingly, it does not involve shopping. Happy Hanukkah, daddy. Already? Well, I know it's early, but this gift has an expiration date. Admit one to the Bronson Alcott multi-denominational holiday pageant. Next Tuesday night, I'm performing. My little girl is perform. I love this. You never perform anymore. Well, duh. That's because the holiday pageant's traditionally a gathering of knuckle draggers. But this year, Dee and I had the El Nino of brainstorms. Since we're co-chairing the toys for Tot Drive, we realized that if we perform in the pageant, then we would generate a standing room only crowd and guarantee a monster toy haul for the Tots. I mean, your performing is the best gift ever. She shoots, she scores. Oh, hold it. Hold. Next week I'm in New York closing the Diller deal. Really? Well, maybe some parent with fewer obligations could videotape me. In the spotlight, one show only, singing. The dreidel song? Sure, why not? Afraid so. Sure, you haven't sung dreidel to me since you were little. Girl, are you gonna do the spin? Duh, it's dreidel. But I guess you'll just have to mess it. Okay, guilt trip laid. Let's see if he bites. Dealer Schmiller, I'll send an associate. Excellent. I'll never hear the end of it, but at least I'll get to hear my little girl sing the dreidel song. Stellar safe, Cher. Now all I have to do is convince the pageant director to let me sing dreidel. See if Isaac Mizrahi has a Hanukkah line. Oh, and learn how to spin without hurling. pressures are so overwhelming. The giving, the unwrapping, the returning. Plus, now I have to convince Mrs. DeMichael the world needs to hear me sing dreidel, which will have to wait, since there's already a line of lost souls seeking gift guidance at my locker. <laughs> Murray, I promised you I wouldn't help you with her gift. I'm quoting now, if he loves me, he knows what to get me. Cher, you don't have to say a word. Just cough if I'm getting close. Kulats. Uh, home testing cholesterol kit? Hey, she wants to be a doctor. It comes with its own personalized tote bag. <laughs> I hope they haven't started the monogramming. Cher! We have toys for Tots flyers to hand out. Oh, gee, I totally spaced. I've been trying to remember the verses of Dreidel, and it scrambled my mind. Dreidel? The kitty folk tune? Yeah, I accidentally promised Daddy I'd sing it in the pageant. You didn't. I did. That's awful. I know. And so now to get Mrs. DeMichael to change the program, I have baked her a bribe. Baked? Okay, bought. Well, you should have bought that for Sean because Mr. DeMichael has stepped aside and Sean is in charge of the pageant. Yes, it's dreidel time. I knew it was over for me when the Trekkies declared themselves a religion and demanded to do a number in the pageant. <laughs> so, here's the music. Eastern religions, Western religions, New Age religions, Old Age religions, covens, cults, and sects. It's your job to work them all in. Wow, this is multi-confusing. Tell me about it. Used to be you play Holly Jolly Christmas, Feliz Navidad, Light the Menorah, you're in, you're out, nobody gets hurt. Time for cookies and a big flask of punch. Are you sure I can handle this? I have my doubts. But you're young, you're strong, you're naive. You'll be fine. And I'll be there to accompany you on the piano. See you at the auditions. Thank you. So I hear we're in charge of the pageant. <laughs> I see lasers. I see smoke machines, OK? I see holograms of the baby Jesus being delivered by George Clooney himself. <laughs> it's going to be the bomb. <laughs> we can blow something up. Uh, uh, Murray, maybe Murray, when Mrs. DeMichael asked me to take over her directing job, she didn't mention you. 
Yeah, but people naturally assume they ask you, and they ask me. <laughs> Murray, while I love being closely associated with you, the choir's mine. Wait, but I thought we were a team, Sean. <laughs> so were Millie and Vanilli. And you're not taking me down, Vanilli. Congratulations. I just heard the great news. This is for you. Yeah, sure, suck up to that fascist. Good luck, Mrs. DeMichael. Oh, typo. The point is, I just wanted you to know that to honor you and your new position, I am volunteering to be in the pageant for the first time ever. I'm even willing to sing a solo. I'm thinking dreidel. Cher, you have to audition just like everyone else. Well, of course, I knew that. Hi, Sean. I was just cleaning out my locker, and I came upon this fabulous Armani suede jacket, and it just screamed, Sean. Yeah, I bet it screamed. Please, get me away from the schizophrenic elf wench. Ho, ho, ho. Amber, you have to audition for the pageant like everybody else. <laughs> for your multi-culti tart fest? As if. I would have been caught dead in cooties on parade. No matter how much you plead, I just can't do it. OK, I understand. Stop. I you're embarrassing yourself. Now, the pageant will go on without me and my vast and intimidating talents. Like I said, no problem. Ah. Uh. All right, good posture, everyone. We'll start off with some choral singing and see what we've got. Sean, do solo artists have to sing in the group as well? Has he given out the solo? This is an audition. I'd like to hear the whole group sing first. I didn't know Sean could do that conductor hand thing. He's faking it. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, okay, uh, why don't we all start again from the top, and when I point to you, stop singing, so we can asphyxiate, I mean, isolate our little problem. Separating us. That's how all dictators start. Happy holidays, holidays to you. Happy holidays, Christian, Muslim, Jew. Happy, happy holidays to you. Cher, you got the voice I was looking for. So I got the solo? No. But the good news is, you don't have to sing with the group, either. He is mad with power. But her voice did suck. Well, it did. Okay, people, chill for five, then we're right back at Cher, it. Cher, D, was I really that bad? No. You were fine. Sean is just so drunk with power that he has no ability to notice talent. He would kick Brandy out on her butt. It's more embarrassing than Farrah on Letterman. <sighs> Cher, listen. You're out of the choir. You just say the word, and I'm outie, too. No, no, no. We did this for the tots. Well, think of something else to get, Daddy. Well, if it means anything, I thought you were great. Not much, but thanks. Now go sing your little heart out. I'll be fine. OK. <laughs> News of my alleged tonal impairment spread faster than the mystery itch at Luann Heiberger's jacuzzi party. But it's no time for self-pity. I still have to break Daddy's heart and buy him an actual gift. I wonder where Murray saw that home testing cholesterol kit. Citibank shopper, page 14. Ember, is this a nightmare or are you really in my room? This bedroom is a nightmare, so let's just say a little bit of both. How did you get in here? We'll discuss my friends at West Tech later. Moving on. 
I heard you got drop kicked from the saliva showcase. So you came all the way over here just to mock me. Oh, please. Now, I could have done that over the phone or the internet or the wall of the boys' locker room. No, I came here to offer my condolences and a solution. I feel your pain. I, too, march to a unique and unappreciated drummer. Just because those lemmings in the choir demand mediocrity, that is no reason that a unique talent like yours should be silenced. You think I'm a unique talent? Absolutely! And thanks to Sybil Shepherd, you are going to get to share that with the entire school. Explain. Sybil was also a unique talent who got kicked out of the choir, but she sued the school so that she could sing in the pageant. Really? Yes! So thanks to the tone-deaf and litigious Miss Shepard, there is a legally sanctioned solo spot waiting for you. Oh, that's great! With me backing you up! Whoa, 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 whoa. You backing me up? Why don't you just sing your own solo? I'm saving that for Broadway. But you, you need accompaniment. You play the piano? Oh, even better. Over. Oh, well, thank you for joining us, Candy Men. Stage left. Hola, mariachis, you're a half an hour late. We had football practice. Good answer. Ooh, flying solo can be a little bumpy. Sean, we have a really big problem. What? I am not comfortable playing the little drummer boy. I want to be a foxy little drummer girl, a la Sheila E. Sheila E? Yeah. <laughs> Hold it! Who killed the Buddhist? All right, everybody take five. Let me figure out this mess. Sean, I'm waiting. And I thought the Buddhists were divas. <laughs> I heard that. Good. Anytime you want me to end this uh, holy war, just say the word. Word? I need you, buddy. Oh, you're gonna have to do a little bit better than that. Okay, I was a fool to think I could do this alone. From now on, when someone asks me to do something, I will naturally assume they're asking for you to. Spring for a deep dish pizza later? You got a deal. Sprung? Oh, thank you. Sean, this seems like the perfect time to go over the legally mandated solos. The what? One of the many reasons you now have this gig. Okay. Pagans do a winter solstice number, then we have the Ramadan ceremony, followed by Dreidel, Dreidel, Dreidel by Cher Horowitz, accompanied by Amber Marins. Cher is singing? No, she can't do that. She'll make an absolute fool out of herself. Somebody has to stop her. Oh, no. Oh, oh yes. yes. Oy vey. I have a little Dreidel. Is West Tech up for grabs? I mean, anyone can just walk into my house? <sighs> Cher, before you sing in that pageant, it is imperative that you listen to Exhibit A. When it's dry and ready, oh, dreidel, I shall play. <sighs> Ew, why am I listening to this heinous bleat? Well, because it's you. I recorded it just now. <sighs> no way. So way. Cher, that is what people hear when you sing. Obviously, the tape is warped. <laughs> no, your voice is warped. Okay. Exhibit B. Horowitz home videos circa 1986. That voice. Oh, why didn't anybody tell me? I know. I should have told you right after the auditions. And about a billion times before that, but... Well, like when? Okay. 
Do you remember that time we were driving out to the outlets and Bohemian Rhapsody came on the radio? And you almost swerved into the guardrail? Yes, it was because of that lethal high note you hit during the Galileo part. You said it was because your underpants were digging in. Well, I just said that to be kind. Cher, listen. Friends don't let friends who can't sing, sing. Thanks, Dee. Oh, and thanks for the gift of honesty. I'm sure it was almost as hard to give as it was to receive. Ugh, it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But I do feel 10 pounds lighter. Honesty packed. Agreed. My turn. OK. You know those hiking boots you love? Mm-hmm. They make you walk like a truck driver. Oh, good. Feel better? Oh, that does feel better. <laughs> oh, and that sparkling eyeshadow you have? Sure. Don't push it. Noted. Oh, deep breath. Must tell Daddy the bad news that I'm not going to be in the pageant. Oh, no. We found a place for you in the pageant. Mel is going to be so happy. Get dressed. Oh, wait, Snag. When Amber finds out we're not doing our act, she'll be crushed. Oh. Let me break the news to her. Ah! Ah! They can't stop me. My daughter's in the pageant. Why else would you have come here? It's starting. Thank you, I hadn't noticed. Our candy. Sing a song for this time of year. The world is revolving with cheer. The joy of giving near and far. Boy, I hope Daddy gets me a new Jaguar. <laughs> it's the Bronx and Alcott pageant. A lot of holidays from which to choose. Ooh. No one is excluded. Seats, shakers, pistons, puzzles to choose. But one thing we have in common is dedication when the pageant. Aspen with my dad's fourth wife and her kids from her second marriage. Oh. <laughs> I'm playing a teenage escort in the movie of the week. Cedar Sinai for a new nose. <laughs> no need for a big house. I should have let my daughter sing dreidel. That was dreck. That was my daughter. <laughs> it's evident that the belief we share, peace and love, is the common prayer. Taught me that the message is love, and I heard it loud and clear from the angel above. Above, above, above. In the spirit of our multicultural nation, we want to wish all of you a happy whatever. And sidebar, in case anyone's stuck for a last minute gift, might I suggest the most perfect gift of all, honesty. One size fits all has a slimming effect on everybody, and it's perfectly okay to return it. Sure. 
And while perfect in every way, it's deceptively heavy. Get off me! Your wings are shedding and I'm allergic! Oh, and we're lighting up! Come on, I bet I can find some holiday spirit in there somewhere. Stop! Sean, that was the best pageant ever. Honestly? Oh, right, we're doing that honesty thing this year. Well, it was your best pageant ever. Happy holidays, baby. I hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Vitamins! <laughs> Murray, what the heck is this? Oh, the gift of life. That's how they advertise it on cable. Is this what you think of me? Fat burners? Follicle stimulators? Oh. <laughs> There better be a backup, and it better be huge. Huge? Hi, Cher. Look at this. The thousands of children who would have gone without are going to wake up to a wonderful surprise on Christmas morning. And it's all because of you. This is just a microchip compared to the monster toy haul next year. Oh, uh, you are wonderful. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. They should have let you sing dreidel. Daddy, let it go. After all those flyers, not one gift for me. Oh, maybe there's something good in the Toys for Tots bin. Excuse me.